Welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be doing Emmanuel Petit. He's high, high, six foot one, three star, three star, left footed. He can play center back, CDM, left back, and left wing back. So I'm actually going to play him at that center back role for the first two games, and then the next two I'm going to play him at CDM. Um, I think this card is going to be insane because he's has anticipate plus, which is my personal favorite um, defensive play style in the game. And probably one of the best playstyles just in the game in general. If you guys saw my tier list video on the on the playstyles, if you haven't, go check that out on the channel. Probably my best viewed video. So actually, a lot of people seem to enjoy that one. But the, yeah, anticipate plus is it's got to be one of the best ones. So he doesn't have power shot, incisive pass, intercept, and anticipate plus, slide tackle, press proven, and relentless. So this card already off the bat just seems insane at center back and CDM, right? So. As far as his pace splits go, his pace isn't, the, isn't like the fastest. I'm definitely going to put like a shadow on him, I think. That's going to be the best chem style for him at center back. Um, so 80 pace, 83 sprint speed. You definitely going to want to boost that with the with the shadow. Shooting is insanely high for, you know, center back CDM. So he does have long shot, which I guess makes sense. That's why he has 91 long shots and shot power. Um, agility and balance for a, um, a center back, as well as the dribbling, is really good, actually. The dribbling is a little bit low. Like the actual dribbling stat is a little low, but... Besides that, agility bounce is really good for a center back. 90 interceptions. The physicals are all perfect, really. That's like probably as good as it can be. Um, besides it being 99, obviously. But I'm gonna throw a shadow on this card. Um, if we go over to Footbin, I'm gonna show you how we, what it looks like with the shadow. And he's 390,000 coins, which is really affordable, I feel like, for most people. Um, if I go over here and throw the shadow on him, he, look at that card, man. 94 defending, 90 physical with 90 pace. That's insane. So at center back, I would put the shadow. Now, if we put him into CDM, I feel like we can change change it up a little bit. Oh, wait. An anchor is kind of nice for a CDM, actually. Boost the pace with defending and physical. This might be kind of nice for the... I just, I just feel like you need that top-tier pace nowadays. In, the, in this age of FIFA, the stage we're at right now, you need a lot of pace. So I would say either an engine for him at CDM or just keep the shadow on him as well. Because um, his short passing, long passing is already pretty decent for, like, uh, passing up to your midfielders and you know passing play with this card so i think for a shadow would be good would be good at center back uh, cdm as well left back now see i don't know if i would play my left back if you were to play my left back you have to put a shadow you would have to put a shadow because you need that top tier pace at, at, on your fullbacks you can't have 80 mid 80 pace low 80s pace you need that 90 at minimum pace so i would throw a shadow at left back i'm not going to play my left back in my team just because He's not going to fit, right? I feel like, you know, especially if I go over... Well, let me hold over to my console so you guys can see this. I don't think he'll fit in my team when I have Team of the Year Davies. I have uh, Bon Pastor. I have, you know, the Pep's Legacy Cancelo. I have Balde. Like, there's so many fullbacks in this game that I feel like it's better off using these really rapid, especially, you know, Team of the Year, like, on or this flashback Davies is going to be insane. So, I would play him at the center, center back role or CDM. That's personally what I would play him at. This is the team I'm going to play him in. He's, his uh, partnership, center back partnership, is with Saliba, who has the Anticipate Plus as well. So I haven't played any games with him. I just completed him, so that's why. But this is the team I'm going to run, um, and we're, let's see how good he is. All right, so here we go. We're going to use Petit. Let's just see how he feels, right? He's got really good play styles defensively. Um, that was a bad pass. Maybe I should maybe I should just make bad passes on purpose so I can have to defend. Okay. I didn't even check his height. I believe he's six feet, right? He's gonna be like six one. Looks pretty tall. Okay, he gets a nice little interception right there. His a I mean him like his AI defending is probably gonna be insane because the place house he has as well as just like that icon cheese. Which I do believe in heavily. Oh my gosh, can't even finish. There he is. That intercept, I mean, that anticipate plus, I'm telling you guys, man, it's so insane. You press B and I swear it glitches you to just get the ball. If you guys ever, like, play the game, right, and you tackle someone, oh my gosh, that's a little bit messed up that pass, and you tackle somebody, um, and the ball bounces back to them. Like when you have anticipate, I feel like that never really happens. So that's why I like love that play style. Well, that's right, 
It's an intercept right there. And the ball is moving again with the tough cookies helping to build upon a positive first half performance. That's a good ball. Here we go, Petit. Look at that. Top class defending. And he has press proven, so if you like to hold the ball, like, when you, especially when you intercept it. Oh, wow. Here we go. Let's see another chance right here. Power shots it. What I was going to say is when you have press proven, it's really good um, when you shield. Like you can, you're able to shield the ball when as soon as you control it, just hold that left trigger. And that way you're able to just control that ball. See if we can get this a goal with. Ooh. Oh, come on. That's, that counts an assist for Petit right there. Come on, it's got to count. I don't know if he has a power header or I don't even I don't even remember. All right, guys, we ended up winning that first game. Um, Petit at center back. I mean, my first game, you know, my first game thoughts on Petit. He feels good on the ball actually for a center back. Um, again, again, anticipate plus is the greatest. I don't know how many times I gotta say it. I'm gonna say it this year, but anticipate plus is the best defensive uh, play style in the game. And also. Um, I moved, I was, you know, there's one point, I think one or two times I stepped up with him when I actually, inter whenever I got the ball, I stepped up and went and drove up the field a little bit to give a pass to another midfielder or to the striker. And, um, his passing is pretty decent. So that's just what I can take from game one. I'm going to play another game with him at center back. I don't even put a chem style on him. Let me put a chem style on him. I'm going to put a shadow on him. Like I said, I was, I didn't, I always forget to do that on, the, on these freaking, uh, these, uh, reviews so throw a shadow on him play him one more game at center back and then another two at cdm and see how i like him oh my days oh what a strike from frankie power shot green time this is beautiful look at this replay Oh, let us show out. Come on, man. Petit. Oh, my gosh. Petit. He just got the header to clear back to the keeper. Oh, my God. I don't know if that's one of his play styles that he has, or that's just icon, or this is every center back, but that was very clutch for him. Oh, look at that. Petit's locking up Mbappe. All you little Mbappe rats better watch out when you see Petit on the field. Look at Petit. The AI defending plus a little anticipate plus right there. Oh, try to Petit's long shot or yeah, power shot plus. Let me try to get on his left foot. No. Look at Petit, man. I don't even have to do anything. He's all AI. You, you're better off not choosing him. Oh, CR7 versus Petit. CR7. Oh, Petit. Wait. Oh, no. CR7. CR7 wins that battle. Oh. I mean, he did win it technically, but when you get that CR7, cheese. Look at Petit. I even pre-read him. I know he's going to go back. Oh. When that.
Petit. Petit. I don't know. That one looked kind of clean. Oh, look at that Petit. Put it in that body. Oh, look at Petit. He's doing it for the badge. That He knew what he was doing right there. The mullet. Look at him. You think he cares? He doesn't care. All right, guys. I think I played four games. Um, that was the only game I think I didn't win. From what I remember, I think I won the first three. I, I could be wrong. But I thought I won the first three. And, then, and I drew this one. So... Um, I won two games with Petit at center back, and then I only I won one at him at CDM, and then lost or drew one at center center defensive mid. So I didn't lose. I was still undefeated with him, but um, yeah, four games played. I mean, no goals, no assists, but he did have a, a pass to assist once or twice. Defensively, he's really solid. Um, his I honestly, from what I could tell you, from the four games I played, two center backs, two CDM, I would prefer him playing at center back. Uh, just because he doesn't feel that great on the ball. He only has three stars, three star. Um, the high, high kind of, you know, misses up, but just put stay back while attacking, you know, that helps it out. But the dribbling is very bad for him as, as a midfielder. In my opinion, I need someone to, to move a little better than him. Um, which is why I like Frankie de Jong, if you look at his dribbling compared to Petit's is, 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 and I usually play Frankie as my CDM personally. So if you have... Um, Frankie, Conte, K even Kimmich, right? Even Kimmich is dribbling. Look how good that is. He's got plus 10, plus 13 dribbling. And then 81. Yeah, so he has plus 5 agility and then plus 11 balance. So, and then De Jong's just way better all around. So, I would prefer him at center back. I think it's the best option for him. He does have, uh, what play styles is it again? So he has intercept, slide tackle, and anticipate plus. With this passing, this passing right here, the types of pass is really nice. If you'd like to throw the ball out to your fullbacks or, you know, to the striker, stuff like that, or even over the top through ball to your strikers. Like I said, relentless is really nice for the team press. If you like to team press a lot, that's really useful. Um, but yeah, I definitely prefer him in the, in that, uh, let me just change back to my formation that I had. What was I? I was just in a 4 3 2 1, I think. But yeah, I, I would definitely prefer him in the, um, in that center back role. That left center back role because he's left footed right there. That's really nice. Because I try to do a skill move with him in the midfield and it's just too slow. I feel like he's going to lose the ball more often than not. He can't really do a skill, like a step over or like ball roll. Like, well, I mean, the ball roll, everyone kind of does at the same speed kind of. So, but yeah, I think he's better suited as a as a center back in my opinion. So I would recommend picking this card up for 350K. I think it's a, I think it's actually a steal. Like that's an insane, insanely good price. Um, The only thing I would say is... I would only pick him up at center back if if you're looking to upgrade the, that position. If you don't already have a even Gold Van Dyke, I mean Gold Van Dyke is insane. But if you don't have this Aliba, if you don't have this Varane and you want to anticipate plus center back, I think Petit's the one way to go. And he's an icon, he helps out with chemistry, he's French, he links with, you know, the one of the greatest cards in the game, Mbappe. Um again, I didn't play my left back. I think he would be even worse at left back, in my opinion. I would definitely play him center back or center defensive mid. From the place, the way I play, from the review I did today, from the games I played today, I would personally put him at center back. I think he's the best option there. Um, and he is 6'1", so he, he can win, win you some headers. You know, you pop him out for that corner technique. He has power shot, the regular one. Um, if you want to pop some power shots. I think I, did, I took a few, but none of them actually went in. But, um, yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, oh, actually, you know what? I wanted to check something real quick because let me head over to Footbin here. I wanted to check because he does have another... Um, this 87, right? I thought he had another one. Okay, this one can't play left, can't play center back. So, off the bat, I think that's already better. Um, but yeah, for 300, 390,000, I think he's up right now. There's no way. I think I swear I saw one on the market for 360. But, um, anyways, around, for under, under 400 coins, we'll say. Under 400,000 coins? I mean, I don't, hmm. This is, no, this is interesting. Hold on. Let's, let's, let's try this out real quick. 400,000 max price. 400,000 max price. Let's do it real quick right here at center back. Let's see what other positions there are. Center back for 460, okay? So let's see what the most expensive is. 390 for Blanc, the baby Blanc, and he has Anticipate Plus. Oh, so Blanc and him are, are the same. I mean, I would just go for Petit, right? At that price, if you have the regular Blanc, um, I would definitely choose this Petit over just because he has more. He could play center defensive mid. He has more pace, more shooting, more passing. He's got everything really besides defending, but um, I think he's just better. 
this Varan, like I said, I, I use him personally and he's insane. So um, I love him. Um, this Bobby Moore card, I don't I don't really like that card. Um, Vincent Company, wow, I can't believe he's 300K. I guess this is the regular one. Lucas Hernandez. I mean, he looks like one of the better options, right? Yeah, he looks like one of the better options you can pick up. Um, obviously, Gold Van Dyke's like one of the greatest center backs in the game, so you can always just have him. But if you want to power, if you want to pair up Van Dyke with this, another center back, I would do it with this uh, Petit card. Um, just because I don't really, I mean, some of these other cards are not really that great. Um, yeah, see, like these, we're getting down like some of these cards can't even handle any, like keep up with the time. So, yeah, guys, that's gonna end it. Um, I would definitely play my center back, put him at shadow. If you want to put him at CDM, maybe try engine. Maybe that's what it is. And he's a, he just needs more dribbling, more agility, balance, and dribbling overall. So that's going to end today's video, guys. If you guys did leave, if you guys did like the video, please don't forget to leave without leaving a like. And of course, guys, subscribe because we're on now on the road to 200 subscribers. So that's the next goal. Let's push to 200. I'm going to be doing another play review. I'm probably going to be doing this uh, Pedro Neto SPC that just came out. He has a Ronaldinho body type. So that's going to be a really, really fun uh, card to use. And that'll probably be the next video. So I really appreciate it, guys. If you guys are interested in that one, again, please subscribe. You guys won't miss that video. So for now, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.